Hi everyone, it's Asuka here. In this video, I will show you how to deal with thin and fragile nails. Whether your nails are naturally thin or they become thin because of gel application, I'm sure many of you want to find a way to do something about it. I'm going to introduce three methods which will help those of you who want to have gel nails even if you have thin nails. I'll also get into the details of the causes and mechanisms of thinning nails, as well as ways to apply gel without damaging your natural nails. So please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started! If you're watching this video, you probably have thin and fragile nails that bend easily like this. Some people are born with naturally thin nails, while others experience thinning after starting to use gel nails. Regardless of what your situation is, I'll provide solutions for anyone who wants to do something about their thin nails or wants to still enjoy nails despite their thinness. If your nails gradually become thin over time getting your nails done with gel, the cause of them thinning can be attributed to sanding and the remover. While the nails get prepped before the gel is applied, your natural nails get filed to create texture to help the gel adhere better. However, excess pressure or over filing during this process can make your natural nails thin. Additionally, the remover used to take off gel nails contains acetone, which is known for its ability to effectively stripe away natural oils, so much so that it can leave the skin looking pale if it comes into contact with it. Leaving this remover on your nails for an extended period can put extra strain on your nails. As a result, Every time you change the gel, your natural nails become thinner. I too have experienced significant thinning by repeatedly filing and removing gel for my middle finger while shooting videos. Nails are considered dead cells as the nail plate itself lacks nerve connections and once a portion becomes thin, it cannot regenerate. The new growth is at the original thickness, but it takes about 6 months for nails to completely regrow to the full length. For those who want to restore their nails to their original state, taking a break from gel nails during this period is the best approach. If you choose to take a break to restore your nails, you can use nail oil, growth stimulators, and reinforcement products to encourage nail growth during this time. Some of these products come in a light pink shade and can be used like a natural colored manicure. There are various types of products available, including those that promote nail regeneration and those with reinforcement fibers, so you can choose one that suits your preferences best. However, even with these reinforcement products, your nails will remain thin until they completely regrow. So unfortunately, your nails may still be more prone to breaking during this time. Another approach is to apply a coat of gel and wait for your nails to regrow without any interference. By doing this, your nails won't break during the regrowth period. Additionally, it's easy to see where the thin part ends and the newly grown, stronger nail begins. However, during the regrowth phase, the nails gradually grow from the base, which might be a concern for some in terms of appearance. If you have complex nail designs with multiple added elements, it can be more challenging to file your nails as they grow. So opting for simpler designs is advisable. If you have thin nails but still want cute gel nails, the third approach is to use fill-in method when changing up your designs. The fill-in method involves taking off the gel without using the remover responsible for thinning. 
It primarily relies on using a nail drill for removal. You can also use a file, but using a nail drill is recommended as it allows you to see how much you are removing. When using the nail drill for removal, you should only file away the top coat and the layer of color gel underneath. Once you reach the layer of the clear base coat beneath the color gel, stop filing. Avoid filing further into this area and continue removing the remaining color gel in the same manner. This way, you avoid using the remover and don't need to remove the gel all the way to the base coat, reducing the strain on your natural nails. Once you file the entire surface, the removal process is complete. Continue with your regular nail care routine, and when your nails start growing back, lightly file the surface and remove oil residue, then apply a base coat evenly. Since there will be a noticeable difference where your nails have been grown, apply the base coat thinly on top of it. After that, Apply color gel as usual, then finish with a top coat. The fillet method minimizes the strain on your natural nails, making it less likely for them to become thin. It allows you to enjoy gel nails while protecting your natural nails. Those with thin nails often have flexible natural nails, making gel nails more prone to peeling. In such cases, after applying the base coat, consider applying an extra layer or mixing a harder gel with the base to create a slightly firmer layer, making the gel less likely to peel. Applying hard gel directly onto very soft natural nails can make it more prone to peeling. Therefore, I recommend using a softer base gel for the first coat followed by a slightly firmer gel, achieved by mixing the base in hard gel. Gradually building up firmer layers will make the gel less likely to peel. Based on the condition of your nail, you can adjust the amount of hard gel you mixed in to create the best consistency for your nail specifically, so I encourage everyone to give it a go! Thank you for watching! If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.